Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. CBS 5 meteorologist Mike Brookins in the Weather Center with your digital web forecast. And it's kind of an important one coming up for Thursday after a quiet day for the most part. Some flurries earlier today on this Wednesday. But Thursday, a stronger, more widespread system brings us rain and likely some snow, maybe even some sizable, shovelable amounts of accumulation for some areas. High temperatures today, way off of normal levels. Only 40 as of recording time for Syracuse and stuck in the 30s in Cortland, Ithaca, below freezing in Saranac Lake with 31 degree high temperature. So below average with a starting temperature of 32 and only getting up to 40, typical level is 56 for the high temperature. Here's what we expect for tonight. It's going to be turning cold. We'll drop into the 20s, though. It could rise late at night as clouds come in and a breeze develops out of the east. Light snow moves in late at night. Now, it may move into the southwestern Finger Lakes a little sooner. And if you're in through the Finger Lakes, you may wake up to a trace to an inch of accumulation. And during the late night hours, roads could get slick in some spots. For Thursday, snow, maybe some sleet or even some rain will all go over to rain during the morning with the exception of the Adirondacks and the Tug Hill. It'll be breezy and raw. Those higher elevations eventually do see a changeover. But temperatures struggle again tomorrow, maybe getting up to 43 towards the evening. Early showers taper off Friday, then some sun late. We'll get those temperatures up a little bit by Saturday. So here's the future cast. Watch that precipitation. Western New York at 9 o'clock moving on in with thickening clouds overnight. Late at night, some light snow moves into the Syracuse area. The wintry mix back to the southwest will move through during the morning hours, going over to rain by late morning or midday at the latest. Now this progression takes a lot longer, as you see, well east of Onondaga County and to the northeast, especially up in Herkimer County. There's a winter weather advisory posted there. They'll get some good snowfall accumulation in Herkimer County. But rain, good chunk of the day, tapering to rain showers, periods of light rain, drizzle, begins to taper as we work through Friday, so the afternoon looks a little bit drier. Future gas snowfall shows a trace to an inch for most. We could find up to two inches in some of the higher elevations. When you get uh, further to the east, maybe one to three inches and a little bit more there in the southern Adirondacks. So increasing clouds, some light snow late tonight, 28 degrees and rising late at night. Light wind, so at least we don't have a wind chill. 43 for Thursday's high temperature. But that doesn't come until the evening. During the day, most of it's spent in the 30s. It will be raw, breezy, chilly with early snow and some sleet changing over to rain. Syracuse Road should be just wet. As we go into Friday, early rain showers slowly taper off during the afternoon, 46 degrees. Then it's warmer winds for Saturday with scattered showers and a thunderstorm, especially in the afternoon. Almost at 60 degrees. That's actually above average. Morning spotty showers for Sunday, afternoon partly sunny, 50 degrees. Outlook for Halloween right now calling for dry weather, sun and clouds, 54, and above normal temperatures in the evening. We'll be into the lower 60s, in fact, Tuesday with some passing showers. My pick day next Wednesday, nice and dry with upper 50s.